Hello, thank you for tuning in to this week's read. This is on YouTube channel James 13 Wicca. I'm going to put the um, dice and the card information below that I'm going to be using for this set. That way you can easily find it. Um, also, if you're anywhere near Herkimer, New York, I am doing, I'm offering some live readings if you're interested. Um, that should be below too. I should have added that by now. Um, there's info below on how to get a reading from me on here. And I'll get the email up here too. So if you'd like an email from me, shoot me an email, james for at gmail.com. That's james the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. That being said, let's go ahead and get into your reading. Hello, Virgo. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. These readings are valid for whenever you come to them. That being said, what do we have for Virgo? Virgo! Virgo, go, go! Thing, okay. Things are very... Things are where they are. What does that mean? Things are where they are. So, things, whatever's going on, I feel like I'm kind of stuck with it. There's a lot of speed with it. And typically Virgo's not all that warm and fuzzy about things happening too fast. Virgo typically, like, I want this to make sense. This should take a minute if it's really going to work to come together. If it happens really fast, usually Virgo's uncomfortable with it. It's just basic Virgo energy, there's a lot of flavor of a lot of different flavors of Virgos out there. Like, you know. It's so like trying to define it and trying to put it where it's supposed to be. We're, I feel like we're trying to do that with whatever this subject is. We keep trying to put it where it's supposed to go. And it's very much a common theme in this subject that information just flies in and when it comes in really quick. I do feel like I have to make a quick decision. It's just kind of like, I want it to where it's supposed to be. I'm trying to line it up. I'm trying to be prepared. Then something happens. Somebody says something. Somebody tells me something. And I'm like, uh oh, okay, wait, let me do that differently. Um, it's kind of like, you know, you're trying to set up your work day, for example, and say you had kids just for argument's sake. And then all of a sudden you get this message, oh, the kids are getting out at noon because of this or that. And you're like, okay, I have to deal with that now. And this is going to change everything that's going to happen with the day. And I got to move things around and I got to do it quick. It seems like stuff like that keeps happening. It's kind of like, I thought the workday was fine. I thought the workday was going to work out a certain way. Then something from left field comes in and I'm like, I have to deal with that. All right, let me deal with that. Um, and it seems like this is a reoccurring, like it just keeps happening. Um, and it's become more normal than... It's become, it's become more normal than like a one-off. It doesn't happen rarely anymore. It happens more consistently. But I don't feel like I'm liking that at this point. <laughs> I feel like, okay, for some reason there's something wrong and something just keeps jumping in the way every time I try to get my plan in motion and I think that I've you know, made new allowances, kind of, all right, this could happen, that could happen. I have a backup plan for this. I have a backup plan for that. All right, I think I'm good. Then something else comes in. You're like, oh... So-and-so got hurt and they need somebody to take them to the hospital right now and they're not, the ambulance can't do it or whatever. You're like, all right, I guess I got to go do that. It's like, okay, now that, that came out of left field. Um, it just keeps, things keep coming out of left field. I keep getting that. It just keeps happening and I'm trying to deal with it and I'm trying to like plan for it and I'm trying like, all right, I guess I have to allow for that. Um, whatever the subject is, it, it does seem to get heavier and heavier there should be a way to bring down that stress. The question is, what would work for Virgo to bring down that stress? Because you keep trying to plan. And I, f I keep feeling like, even like when I think I have the plan down, it's like, okay, if the kids are out early or something, I have this plan. And then like, even maybe there's even a backup plan. And it's like, all of a sudden that doesn't work. It's kind of like, if, if they have to get out early, maybe my mom or my aunt, or my sister will go. And then you find out, oh, they're all two hours away doing something together. So 
those three options, even though I had three, can't, that's not going to happen today, so I need another one now. Um, it's Things just keep changing. No matter how hard I plan, it just seems like things keep getting in my way. <laughs> Am I reading this right? Because I'm like, I see the stress and I'm like trying to figure out what I need to do. And the Seven of Pentacles reversed on the dice is telling me even though I'm putting in all this effort, it's going nowhere. Um, and I got the Magician here too that's upside down, which is telling me my efforts are not showing any type of yield. I'm not getting anything out of my efforts in this situation, or it feels like I'm not getting anything out of them. Like where I want it to go is not happening. Um, so it's not that nothing is happening. It's just I'm not getting the desired outcome. Random, random, random keeps happening. Uh, I see the King of Wands in the environment, which could be a person, but doesn't have to be, especially with the general reading. Um, it's a random energy just keeps coming in that demands attention like you cannot get around it you're not going to get around it it's just how that is um usually it talks about a person that's true but i'm more of an intuitive reader it depends on what's going on with the rest of the cards and how the feeling comes in just to be fair in case somebody's wondering um to get this under your control they're saying walk away from what was there Plan it for the way you want it, not for what's happening. I don't know about that, but <laughs> this is how it's coming in. Don't plan for what's happened. Plan for what you want it to be. And then just accept that like eight times, eight, eight about eight times out of ten, it'll probably go your way. And just accept that like two times out of 10 or one, one time out of five, I guess is a better way to put that. Like out of the five days in a week, one of those days is going to be messed up and just expect one of those days to be messed up. I feel like that's what they're saying, which, cause it's like the more you plan, it's like, Oh, I didn't plan for that. Well, all right. Well, that wasn't some, you're going to naturally try to do what you can do to make things work out. But like whatever's going on with the situation, I almost feel like it's messing with you, whatever it is. Um, and it's kind of like, by by not trying to like find every angle, ironically, because I feel like that's what it, Earth would naturally do, try to keep planning for all the angles. It just seems like you would try um, to, to a point, you know what I mean? Not like every little nuance, but like uh, if something, if the kids get out of school, this is like something that I could do that, or you know what I mean? Like, you know, uh, you know five people are coming over for dinner. I can stop by to this store on the way home that type of thing. Just making general things seems like the normal thing that a Virgo would do, but they're saying, don't even do that part. I feel like that's a lot to ask. Instead, plan it for the way you want it to go. And when it goes the way it needs to, just enjoy it to its fullest. Enjoy it to its fullest when it is going your way. Um, Cause I feel like the energy of trying to get ahead of it is bringing your, your energy down and making it heavier. It makes sense why you would want to do that. It makes full sense, but it's like, it keeps feeling to me like this energy is messing with you. It's just like the more you plan, the more it makes fun of you for it. And if you're able to kind of like, you know what, I'm just going to plan it for what I want it to be. And then I'll just have to handle it in the moment. It seems like that's a lot. But it's also kind of looking at it in the sense of like stepping into power, which looks like the hermit card to me very much. And the hermit card is the uh, Virgo card in the tarot. And then this other one that says view from above. Kind of like just making sure that like I, I got the blanket things taken care of. So it's almost like if you have kids, for example, having a secondary, like if this happens, they can do that. But if that if that falls through, all right, then I have to go and pick them up myself and just kind of like letting yourself be free of it from there. Uh, it's almost like saying, all right, I have, a, I have a basic plan for that. If that falls through, I'll just have to do it myself and just kind of pulling it back to that level. Um does that make sense? Like, try, like just accepting that, all right, then I'll have to just do it myself. And whatever this situation is, it's almost like it knows what you're planning. And it's kind of like trying to pull you into a different energy, trying to show you more, more, more of what you can do so you can get more success. I feel like it's trying to build that energy up so you can see what you're actually capable of. So you can get a more success. Like success is trying to come for you, but it's kind of like, 
we got to look at things differently. We got to handle things a little di bit differently. Virgo has a natural knack for putting things where they're supposed to go and doing things in a certain order. But whatever this is, whatever this subject is, it's just not going to meet you halfway on that. And it's trying to find something that like makes sense for the random energy coming in. So like if I was going to make this really, really basic, like it's kind of like we got food on the table, we got the rent paid and the, everybody's healthy. We're just trying to make sure those things stay afloat. And as long as those three things stay afloat, we just got to handle it what it is per day. I'm also seeing somebody else that's an earth sign in my head. And it took them a while to get used to it. But like, for example, they have kids. They have a bunch of kids. And in the beginning, it took them a while to get used to it. But the more kids they had, the more random life became. And they had to find a way to make peace with certain things. And like, they're not going to control all this stuff. It's just, they're going to lose their mind. But like, you know, making sure this is paid, making sure the food's on the table, make sure kids get to school, stuff like that. It's like we got to kind of reevaluate what actually needs to be done and kind of like step back from some stuff. And I feel like that's what this reading for the people this is going to hit for. I feel like they're trying to show that there's certain things you're planning for that it doesn't matter how good you do. Sooner or later, it just never goes where it's supposed to. And it's kind of like trying to secure things and set them up in a positive way makes makes logis makes logical sense it does make sense I, I feel like i'd want to do that too um and i'm not a virgo but <laughs> i feel like that would make sense but they're saying the more you kind of like bring it back to the basics and just secure the basics and look out for like general ways to handle the basics to make sure the basics work out the more happiness you're going to be able to pull in the more the next level of success can come in for you i do feel like it's heavy I do feel like it's heavy and it's uncomfortable. Um, and I do feel like part of this, one of the reasons it's hard to get used to is because I feel like I am skipping out on responsibilities. I feel like I'm not upholding to my responsibilities. And there's, I feel like that's what I'm known for, doing my responsibilities. I'm, I'm very reliable. I'm, I'm supposed to do this. I'm supposed to do that. And I get it done. And it's hard to like look at this in a different light. But I feel like this next evolution is what is necessary for you to get to the next level of success. If you're not able to do that, I, I feel like I can't get on the next level. I can't get on the next level until I find a way to do this. Uh, take it with a grain of salt, of course. Readings are for entertainment purposes only. But there's like, there's success waiting to happen. And it's always like, even though there's success waiting for you, I feel like I'll always be conflicted that things didn't get planned out better. But if I can get used to it, it's kind of like, I... I I, I keep planning or I look out for the basics. I have a, a basic plan to keep the basics afloat and that succeeds. And I feel like I'm constantly at war with myself, kind of like I should be planning better. But whatever the situation is, it doesn't really allow it for you to have this level of success and be able to plan that, like that level. Um, it will drive you crazy. <laughs> so they're saying there's whatever this subject is hitting for, you can definitely go to the next level. It's making peace with like pulling it back, securing the basics, making sure the basics stay afloat and having your base plans that need to be adjustable uh, in place. And then kind of like not trailing after the rest of this stuff, just letting these other things happen the way they happen. I feel like that's going to be really uncomfortable, but whatever the subject is, that's how you get su success. And I keep getting again, it's like, I don't think you'll ever be totally at peace with it, but having that next level of success, I do feel would be worth it for you. Um, there's more things you want to come into your life, and this is how this could happen in this subject. Uh, I also feel like for some of you, this, it's like, I'm watching this and it's kind of like, I'm starting to question, like, do I have to be a part of this? <laughs> I'm starting to be like, so for example, if it's a family thing, like, okay, clearly this is how the family thing works. But another example would be if this is a type of job or work situation, or maybe you run your own business and you're like, all right, I understand I can get more success here. I can get more of what I want, but like, is my sanity going to uphold through this? Do I, is this something I want to keep doing? Or maybe I need to make other decisions. Um, cause there's more success out there, but it's like, is it going to cost me my literal sanity to have it? That's the thing that you'd have to answer that yourself. If this is something doable or not doable. Are we done? Okay. 
I'm going to shut this down here. Hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information that's below, same email. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.